Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I suffer from acne for over 10 years, so I created my YouTube channel to share my beauty tips and tricks, my experience with acne, and all things lifestyle, food, and all that jazz. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, why not hit subscribe and stick around. This is my new series, Back to Basics. I'm just kicking it off with skincare, so go right back to the basics, telling you all the information that you will need to get a solid skincare routine for your skin type. Also, why not follow me on Instagram? I post outfit of the days there, product reviews and everything else. So if you don't want to miss that, hit follow on Instagram. I'll leave it here in the description box down. Having a good solid skincare routine is going to be the base, your concrete solid foundation to the rest of your makeup look. Having, you know, having well looked after skin is going to make sure you no know, foundation clings to dry patches, etc. etc. Now, rule number one is know your skin type. Okay, are you a combination? Are you oily? Are you sensitive? I'm sensitive, I go red when I take my makeup off. So if you're not quite sure, look with a bright torch on your face and really look at your skin in the mirror. Failing that, go to a makeup counter who do skincare products and ask them. Talk to them about your skincare. A tip I would suggest is strip everything blank. It's very common, I've been speaking to friends and family recently and a lot are using so many different products because they see them on the internet, they use them, but they don't actually know what they do. So my advice would be strip everything back, go right back to a simple three-step routine and then build, then add products that you'd like to try which you think are right for your skin type. So strip it all back, cleanse, tone, moisturise, SPF in the morning, at night take your makeup off, cleanse, moisturise. Continue with that, exfoliating three, four times a week in the evening, then you can start adding things in, so like a retinol and a vitamin C or an acne treatment. You get the picture. So your morning routine. Cleanse. I cleanse in the shower. Now there's a lot of controversy around this. Some people are, oh you shouldn't do your face in the shower because the water's going to be too hot and it's going to dehydrate your skin even more. Well, yes, that's true, but my taps go so hot so fast. So, because my taps do get hot so fast, I cleanse my face in a shower. So, in the morning, I like to use the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser. This is really nice. I don't need to use a flannel with this, but I do really like the Liz Earl. And this is their Sensitive Cleanse and Polish. It's got lavender in, which lavender helps soothe and calm redness. This is another thing. Research what ingredients your product has in and the higher up the product in the ingredient list that means it contains the most of that so the higher it is the more of that ingredient is in the product so some for example list oh this has got lavender in but it's you know second to last product so it's hardly got anything in just an example so always check the ingredients salicylic acid is really good for acne as well so if you have spots and you get spots and breaks out quite a bit Look for salicylic acid in your products because that's going to help dry and exfoliate that skin and really help with the breakout, control that breakout. So, oh, it's still got water in it, it's flicking everywhere. So in the morning I will use a uh, cleanser, cleanse my skin and then I get out, okay? So this is like the basic version, so I've cleansed my skin, then I'm going to tone. I'm using the multi-active toner by Dermalogica, I really like this. In the morning I spritz it over my face and then I press it in like so. Then I use a vitamin C. Using a vitamin C is an antioxidant. So this is gonna help, especially when you're in your 20s, it's gonna help not undo, but help with the damage already caused from not using SPFs and environment, pollution, all of that jazz. So using uh, vitamin C in the morning and the evening. If you're using higher than a 10% vitamin C, it can sometimes oxidate your foundation. So just look out for that. My advice would be use a low percentage vitamin C in the morning, then a high vitamin C in the evening. This is the vitamin C4. I'm not a massive fan of this. I'm still trying to find a vitamin C that I love. My mum loves this. My mum loves it. This is a 23%. Is it 23%? Yeah, I'm sure. 22%. Um, but it's too mattifying for me. I'm giving it a little, I'm giving it, you know, a little bit more try a little bit longer to try it but my mum loves it but I'm not sold on it just yet but that's the high vitamin C so use a vitamin C before your moisturizer then you want to go in for moisturizer I am loving this 
If you're going to invest in anything, invest in a moisturizer because it's on your face for longer. If you're investing in a cleanser, it's on your face, then it's off and it's down the drain. So your money's essentially going down the drain. So if you're going to invest in one product, my advice would be moisturizer. This I would recommend, this is amazing. When people say, oh, you only need a little bit, you only need a pea size amount, I'm like, yeah, whatever, bitch. This you do, you do, you do. This is a Dermalogica Skin Soothing Cream. I love this. I take like a fingertips worth, face, neck, jobs are good in. Leave it to settle in your skin for a little bit. Give it a couple of minutes, go make your bed or something. Then, use an SPF. If you take one thing from this video for crying out loud, let it be using an SPF every single day. If it's not sunny outside, they are still UV rays that can penetrate your skin and damage your skin. It's not worth it. Fake tan in a bottle is better than skin cancer. Use an SPF underneath your makeup on top of your moisturizer every single day. Just start doing it every day, then you won't forget it. Really like this one, it's the La Roche Prose and I use the 51. This is brilliant, my makeup sits on it, doesn't break me out. Also, whilst I'm on about SPF and breaking out, most people go, oh, I don't like using an SPF on my face because it breaks me out. Well, that may be true, you might, you know, you might need to try different brands, but it could be the fact that you're not taking it off properly. You might need to pre-cleanse and then cleanse, which I'm going to get onto in a second, but chances are you're not taking your SPF off properly, so that's why it's breaking you out, because you're sleeping in it. That's dead simple. Use a cleanser. Use a nice sensitive cleanser, the uh, CeraVe one, they do a nice one, uh, which is cheap. Cleanse, tone, vitamin C, moisturize, SBF. That's your morning, put your face on, okay. Right, it's the evening, you've got in from work or doing your day. Hands up if when you get home, you don't take your makeup off straight away. You sit in it, you, you, know, you cook your tea, you do your job, you do whatever you gotta do then just before you go to bed, you take your makeup off. So my advice would be, as soon as you get home from work, as soon as you walk in that front door, go upstairs and take your makeup off because all that pollution, all that dirt and the grime is sitting on your face where you could be nice and cleansed with your nighttime cream on doing its thing for an extra five hours. But instead you've got pollution and all that crap sat on your face for five hours. I know what I'd rather have. Okay, so take your makeup off. If you're using a micellar water, you need to rinse your face, that is a chemical. A lot of people use a micellar water because it's quick and easy, but they're leaving it on their skin. They're not rinsing their face with warm water afterwards. The reason I say that's important because sometimes you can get sensitivity around your eyes. That's because you're leaving the micellar water, which is a chemical on your face. You're not taking it off. So if you're using a micellar water, use it and then get a warm flannel, preferably cleanser and warm flannel, you know, and remove it because you don't want to let that be sitting on your face. I am loving an oil-based cleanser at the minute. So I take the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. Uh, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm is really good too. I can't quite make my mind up which one I prefer, but for me, this is a winner because I can use one pump and I could have the heaviest of smoky eye and one pump's gonna do it. So you're going all over this oil cleanser on your eyes, do your eyelashes with one finger so you're not dragging and pulling around the de delicate eye area all over your face and you want to take a warm flannel, warm damp flannel and then remove it, okay? Then once you've, you know, removed it, then you want to go in with your cleanser again, I'll go in with the Liz Earl, you know, do that and then make another clean flannel. I like to use a white flannel because then I know all my makeup's off. So I'll do that, remove all of that, then that's my SPF and my makeup all removed and the skin is clean. Then I'll go in for toner. Okay, so when I'm not using an exfoliator, a natural exfoliator, I will perhaps use the Pixi Glow Tonic, which is an exfoliating toner, which I'll get onto in a second about exfoliators. So once my skin is all nice and clean, I will then go in with the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. You want to go with a really nice, heavy night cream. You want it to replenish your skin so it's fresh and it's doing its thing. So your skin's all nice and fresh in the morning. So evening essentially is take your makeup off, cleanse, put a nice tone, and then put a nice, whatever for your skin type, night cream. 
And then once you've solidified your morning and nighttime routine with just your simple products, then you can start to add, for example, a retinol and things like that. You can start adding treatments in, but just concentrate, nail though, you know, really nail those basic skincare routine and then add. So exfoliating. If you have the St. Ives scrub, throw it in the bin right after you finish watching this video. Why? Because you really like that. You, I know you like it. I know you really like that harsh, that really nice clean feeling after that really nice scrubby feeling. But the damage that is doing to your skin is, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. Use a gentle exfoliator. So I really like the Superdrug Vitamin E uh, Gentle Oatmeal Exfoliator. This is a few pounds and it's really good. It's not too harsh, it does its job. Use it just a few times a week. Don't over exfoliate, otherwise that's gonna cause you more problems. So if you're oily and you feel like you need to exfoliate to stop the oiliness, well it's not, because you're breaking the skin up and then your skin's gonna cause, produce more oil. So, you know, it's not really gonna help. Likewise, if you had acne, I used to really exfoliate because I was like, oh no, this, you know, these needs to go. But it's actually making your skin more sore, more aggressive because you're, you're aggravating your skin. When you're going in with a really harsh scrub on a regular basis, you're aggravating the skin. And nobody wants that. Your skin doesn't want that. Love your skin. Don't punish it. So that's a really good cheap option. I really like the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. This is amazing. It's like a powdery, dusty thingy. So you pour a little bit in your hand, then you rub it together, then you rub it on your face and you can feel it exfoliate and then turn into a, like a foam. It's, it's really good and you only use a little bit and that lasts ages. Um, so, you know, that's, I would recommend that. By exfoliating in the morning, you know, you're breaking your skin up, you're making your skin more sensitive and more vulnerable to UV rays and pollution, etc., etc. So I would personally advise to always exfoliate in the evening and it's gonna make your skin less red as well. Now, exfoliating toners. You've probably seen this, the Pixie Glow Tonic. The glyconic acid is the exfoliate in it. So don't use this every day. Do not use this in the morning because like I said, it's gonna make your skin more sensitive to UV rays. Use it in the evening, only a few times a week. But you know your skin. Experiment with your skin. So go really basic with a really basic skincare routine and then add, then add your products. So if you're a little bit older, you want to introduce a retinol for anti-aging, introduce that. When I suffered from really bad acne, I used to punish my skin so much. I used to want to dry it the hell out, exfoliate it, but it was just making it more and more red, more and more aggressive. And you know, it didn't help. So my advice, which I tell a lot of people, is love your skin. Don't punish it, love it. Don't be afraid of oils. People are like, oh, but I'm oily, you know, my T-zone gets oily, so I don't want to use an oil or a moisturizer. By not using that, your skin is producing more oil because it's like, I need this. So oil, no matter what your skin type is, cleanse, tone, moisturize, SPF, preferably, you know, add the vitamin C in before your moisturizer. Well, then in the evening, cleanse, cleanse again, tone, moisturize, and then you know you can add in. So I hope that's been useful. I think I've shouted at you quite a bit. Sorry about that. But um, my next tutorial is going to be, well, back to basics, is going to be foundation. So what foundation for us to use, for what foundation, how to choose the right foundation to you, apply, all of that is going to be in the video. And then in a few weeks time, I'm going to do a video on skincare for mature skin. So using retinols, how to use a retinol safely, etc., etc. I actually did a book for my mum for Christmas with all different products in to use for her skin because she's a mature lady. Not too mature. So in a few weeks time, I'm gonna go through that. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And thank you ever so much for watching. This has been useful. Give it a thumbs up, please. That would mean the world to me. And if you have any questions, perhaps I haven't touched on anything you really want to know, do leave me a comment, I will answer them. Follow me on Instagram, I do lots of different skincare talks on Instagram. I'm gonna stop rambling now, I'm gonna get on with the day. And yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. Like I said, next video is going to be 
um, foundation back to basics, then it's going to be colour correcting and concealing, so I really hope you enjoy this new series. Okay, thanks ever so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in my next video.